Give you a general overview of what all is under their responsibilities. This is our plan maintenance system on board. Uh, in that system, we have to check our job daily routines. If you are coming here, that thinking like life will be easy. So that is not true. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another beautiful day at sea. In today's video, we will follow the electricians and see what goes on in their life in, on this mega ship having more than 500 reefers capacity. Not even 500, 6, 7, 800, 900. We'll ask them. And we have the moon with us along with the sun and the blue waters. So it's going to be an awesome video. So stay tuned. It is 1.45. Post lunch, it is Sunday and the vlogging uniform is out. That means the video is on and let's go to the ship's office and see if we can find the electric electricians over there. And yes, we have two of them here. Hey guys. Hello guys. This is Siddhaj Jadav, electrical officer on board Munke Bumas. Hello, this is Mian. I am electrical cadet. Welcome to Mangi Bumas. So guys, are you ready? Yes, we are ready. Ready. So where are we going now? So we will go now to check our what is the problem with our aircon. Okay. So we'll go there and see. So guys, safety first. Always we put this pin so that the door does not bang by itself and our uh, fingers can get caught. Uh, Siddhis, what happened in the aircon uh, system? Yeah, in the aircon system, there, uh, we checked their uh, Fion level. Fion level was found okay. okay. And uh, there was one small component called as filter dryer. That one we have to change, but uh, first of all we have to take permission from second engineer. Okay. Then we will proceed. So this was like a small part of their job. Now we will go to the reefer workshop where it's actually the heart of what they do. Like the money is being paid for them because of reefers, right? Yes. Because of reefers. So let's go to reefer workshop guys. The river workshop was not uh, that much clean, so these guys are cleaning, but I've already caught them, guys. Guys, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. This is work, yeah. So, anyway, uh, so, Mayat, uh, what happens here? What is all all this uh, huge stuff? Yeah, especially these are for the reefer spare beds. Okay. Yeah, we need uh, whatever we need. We have everything here. Okay. Uh, yeah, especially like this. Basically, this workshop is all the spare parts like you saw in the engine room spare parts and uh, Siddhaj what are these big bottles? Okay, so this is Freon bottle for reefers. Okay. This is R404A. Yeah. This is R134A. Mm -hmm. We are using uh, this blue bottle for star cool for carrier. Okay. And this uh, orange color bottle we are using for thermoking. Okay. So basically we have different types of reefers on board. Not different types but uh, the company make. So each company requires different kind of Freon bottles and everything is stored here in this particular workshop. So, now Mayat, yes, we'll sir. go to the reefer, huh? Guys, this is how the reefer is plugged in and uh, now Matt, uh, are we going to fix something 
Yeah, we have to check. Yeah. Uh, before we have to check, we have to... Of the power of the reefer. Okay, first you switch off the power. Yes. Okay. So guys, that is how the power will be switched off now. And now... And now, mate, we'll proceed. Matt, what is uh, these numbers? That is the set point. You can set. see in here, okay. set point for this compressor. This is a supply temperature. Okay. This is a return temperature. Okay. Right now, this one is really good condition. Okay, that's good. So, Matt, what all uh, do you check on the reefers every day? Yes, every day we have to check in the morning. In the river, we have to check the external condition, uh, something leaking, especially all river are uh, in range. In range, yes. okay. So as you must have seen in one of my videos about the provisions I showed you, this is the provision reefer plant as you see. And we'll go inside and show you how it looks like. So this is it. These are the Freon bottles and the temperature etc can be regulated. The temperature can be regulated from here. Uh, actually we have a temperature controller inside the galley. Inside galley, this okay. For the moisture indicator. Moisture indicator, okay. So guys, we'll ask Mayat now, the electrical cadet, what time does he start his job? So Mayat. Yes. How, the, how it starts? Yeah, I will start from the in the morning, 8 and uh, after that we go to the engine room and we get a job description from the senior officer and uh, and day 11 in the afternoon, Start 300 it. restart and after that we have a in 3 o'clock we get a coffee times after yes. that and day 5 we are walking ok so 8 to 5 is the working eight time 8 to 5 is the daily and, walking and you have overtime also sometimes uh, so according to the problems, according to the job. According to the After job. That we have to walk. And how many months contract you have? Uh, right now I'm uh, been here four months. Four months already. Yeah. yeah, four months already. And I, how will be, months? I will be six months. Six months total. Six months. So Mayat, uh, we have one more question. Which is, what is the work of a cadet on board? So Mayat, what is the work a uh, electrical cadet has on board? <laughs> so guys, uh, Mayat looks a bit uh, nervous. So first we'll go to engine room and then show something and then uh, we'll take take number three. Okay, let's go. Let's go guys. What the devil is that? I can uh, understand because it was my first time as well on the camera a few months back or another year, a year now. So uh, it's okay. Just bear with us. No chief engineer. No second. Second is here. Oh, Jeff oh. we found. You see, Sidesh, your boss is here. Yes. Now we have boss of boss of boss and boss. Yeah. <laughs> Dharam. Yes. Okay. So guys, Dharam bhai is now a second second engineer, and uh, I just want to ask one question to Dharam bhai. Dharam. Answer. Just one question. <laughs> just one question. Dharam, what do you expect uh, of uh, the electrical officers on board? No, no answer. It's useless. Yeah, just go back as a single person. Just, just go back. A single piece. In single piece. <laughs> like you came on board. Okay, Siddesh, you got it, huh? Yes. Matt, you also listening or not? Is what? listening? You didn't what? listen? I'm listening. Dharam bhai. Yeah, he's listening. He's listening, yeah. huh? Just go back as a single piece like you came on board. That's yes. what I want. And guys, please congratulate Dharam bhai. He's become a second engineer. You can drop in your comments over here. And if you haven't watched the video of him, I'll put a link somewhere here and you can watch it. Okay, then I will not disturb you. Let's go, guys. Now we are in the engine control room and uh, let's ask the electrical officer what all is under your responsibility on the ship? What all you have here? So, look on the container ship, our basic job here is to take care of the reefers during transit. From point A to the point B, we have to take care of the reefers safely. 
then uh, our uh, ship manager jobs routine jobs that are like uh, 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 for every ship we have some plan maintenance jobs we have to take care of that our electrical part is there so we have to do it uh, on a regular basis so uh, uh, in uh, accommodation engine room everywhere if you see electrical wire we are there in case of any uh, machinery breakdowns if it is a electrical part then we have to uh, find out the troubleshooting yeah and uh, we have to fix the problem as soon okay. as possible now since he said all this let's show you practically also what he means by pms jobs or troubleshooting let's go math uh, this is our plan maintenance system on board uh, in that system we have to check our job daily routines so according to it we have to carry out our jobs so this was like a very good example of how the electrical officers tell the cadets of their various jobs and it's on the computer which of course we cannot show you but uh, that's how it is done so suppose mayat come here we have a problem in one of the electrical uh, equipment suppose a shaft generator motor is giving problem oh, how you will trouble oh, that is a really big day right there yeah? yeah so how you will trouble shoot this for the video suppose on a shaft generator for a winding we have temperature sensor so we have some problem with the temperature sensor so we'll go there and have a have, have a look on it okay so guys uh, just for simulation now sidesh he will take us to the shaft generator motor okay for Next whatever motor. is a problem we have simulated yeah okay okay me are ready 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 to learn yeah ready sure let's go So guys, that was the location of the shaft generator motor, and now we saw the location. Now yes. we we'll go to the ECR to have a word, yeah? Yes. And see the manual. Okay. So guys, this is a live example of mobile phone which fell in the engine room, but still working, huh? This is Dharam Bai's phone, yes. guys. So yeah. keep your phones uh, away in the engine room, yeah? So Sidesh, we have found the manual. Yes, we have found, found the, the manual. manual. Okay, that's fine. Now. as we have shown you uh, shaft generator down below on engine floor so for any problem we will first go there have a look on the screen what is the alarm present we will check the physical condition of the equipment then uh, for the theoretical part we will come back this manual we will find out the manual for particular equipment so that was a very good example of how trouble shooting is done and thank you sidesh for that it was just a simulation and uh, there was no real alarm Yet, but it can happen any time. Yes, it can happen any time. Okay, it's enough. It's enough. Time to cookie. Time for cookie, yeah. Huh? So, Mayat, by the way, this is the place where you have morning meetings, huh? Yes, yes. With second engineer, like the sitting here conference, huh? Yes. Yeah, for the safety meeting. For safety meeting, yeah. Before, before we start the job. Before you were trying to tell us, but you were. Uh, for coffee break, we are coming back here <laughs> and uh, Matt. Uh, Matt having the contract to bring cookies to engine room. Oh, the current so, job is cookie, yeah. Huh? Cook to bring cookie, Matt. Matt, how is your Sunday going? Sunday going. You disturb that. I disturb you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> So let's ask Sidesh a very tricky question. Sidesh, do you like this profession or not? Honest, honest answer. Yes, uh, I like it because uh, from the my college days, I wanted to be an electrical engineer in uh, marine industry. So uh, this is what I wanted to be, and I, I'm here now. What are the disadvantage of this profession? Actually, disadvantage is that uh, uh, here, if you are coming here, that thinking like life will be easy. so that is not true you have to be prepared you have to be physically fit and uh, you have to be ready for like uh, 24 hours sleepless like sleepless life you have to be uh, like uh, for every emergency they will call you yes correct so suppose i'll give you a very good example guys our winch m4 was not working right at the middle of the night and we had to call him 
yes to fix because we were going along side and there we have no time to waste so uh, yes this is one example which he was talking about yeah yes of course okay second very high in demand question is which is the best college for eto in india actually i have done uh, my eto course from tolani but uh, according to me uh, for placement wise amid is also good and uh, anglo eastern is also good and the last question sedesh one advice for the college students for college students i would say that uh, be focus on your uh, studies like uh, for basic concept first of all clear your basic concepts about the electrical systems machinery is on board so that uh, you won't struggle after coming here you won't know the basic then you cannot understand the detail so first of all clear your basic learn how uh, learn how how it is works basic principle and uh, the most important thing safety so be safety conscious before coming on board okay sir mehat come come any advice for new cadets anything you think is important yeah the first thing is the the first thing is safety 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 you we have to get safety awareness yes before what we are doing anything on board mm-hmm. because ship is uh, not easy dangerous yeah. place yeah. it's really dangerous place every time is rolling yeah. dangerous if you don't know what you are doing if you know what you are doing if you are doing it properly then it is okay basically as you see electricians like mehat and sidesh have to work on deck engine room bridge yes. accommodation you name it bow thruster yes everywhere everywhere guys Ele- without electricity the ship ca- can't run so you guys are the most important thing no not most important one of the most important everybody is important <laughs> i will correct my sentence <laughs> everybody is important, important but yeah. these guys are working everywhere guys so hats off to these guys and now we shall close the video yes and if you did like the video don't forget to give it a like share and subscribe guys thank you and see you in the next vlog